So we're about a month away from harvest. Farmers and their advisors are looking at what crops to grow in 2020, but also what varieties to choose from. In SeaTech, we're really proud of our awesome 2020 portfolio. We have mainline winter barleys here like Belfry, which has been tried and trusted for the last number of years in Ireland. We have a new two-row barley called LG Casting, which has topped the two-row recommended list. We have an exciting new six-row barley called KWS Joyu, which has a unique trait, BYDV tolerance. Amongst winter wheats, Graham, which is coming from SeaTech, has been topping the winter recommended list for the last number of years. Lastly but not least, for growers that are looking for a winter oat to grow in 2020, Husky has been the top performing oat, the most reliable, over the last number of years. So look no further than the comprehensive portfolio of varieties from SeaTech this autumn. So for growers and advisors that are looking for a banker winter barley to grow in autumn 2020, there's simply no better choice than Belfry. Belfry is a hybrid winter barley. That hybrid bigger is driving its roots, giving an exceptionally stiff straw, producing exceptional grain yields, but also with that exceptional quality of grain with high bushel weights. Belfry is the only winter barley to have actually out yielded controls in the department trials in the 19 out of 20 trials in the last three years. It has very good disease resistance, as you can see here, the middle of June, and the green leaf area is exceptional on Belfry. So for growers that are looking for to leave a profit at the end of the year 2020, Belfry is the best choice to make. For farmers looking to push for out and out yield, Bazooka is a hybrid that has fit that over the last number of years. It suits the longer term tillage rotations where the nitrogen supply can be managed rather than coming from the ground. It's got a very nice straw yield and for farmers that are selling straw to the market, Bazooka can certainly deliver. LG Casting is the two row winter barley we've been looking for a long number of years in SeaTech. It came onto the Department of Agriculture recommended list 2020 as the highest yielding two row barley. But within our own trial system, LG Casting stood out for us straight away. Its straw strength, its yield consistency, its grain quality, and I think above all else, its disease package is what we picked it out for. So for a grower who's looking for a two row winter barley to grow in 2020, I would recommend LG Casting. Something new and exciting to show you this year is KWS Joyu. On its own merits, KWS Joyu has done very well in the department trials. It's a conventional six row with exceptional yields, exceptional grain quality, very good straw and disease package. But this barley is a little bit unique. It's the first barley we've been able to offer growers that has BYDV tolerance. It's able to accept a certain attack from the aphids and not be affected by the virus. So KWS Joyu something new, exciting, and for the future in 2021. So Cosmos has been on the recommended list for a long number of years. It's a conventional six row. It's a later developing variety, hence why I'm down here looking at it today. Um, the awns and this haven't come out yet. Um, it's a very good six row for people that are looking for a conventional six row to grow in 2020. So I'm here on our Waterford trial site in SeaTech with Patsy Kyo, our trials manager. We're standing in front of a very impressive plot of Graham. Graham is a variety that has come onto the recommended list in Ireland as the top yielder. Uh, it's got excellent characteristics that's going to make it a firm farm favourite 2020. Patsy, in terms of you looking at Graham in the plot, it's doing very well for Septoria, it's doing well for Yellow Rust. Uh, in terms of um, growing Graham, or what would you point growers out? In my view, you can drill early. It's a very slow developer. Yeah. But once you come to the growing period in early spring, it takes off. So yeah. And it, it actually comes in quite early for harvesting. Yeah. So yeah. It, 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 like harvesting date would not be affected by late development. Graham, we had it here in a very dry year in 2018. 
we had it in more normal year 19 and 17 it still topped the trials it also topped the trials in the department there must be some bit of resilience in it then to be able to do that oh yes like it's, it's shown this consistent robustness through the different seasons and for a variety to do that in in the weather that say Ireland is offering yeah it's it's, uh, it's quite a big advantage and quite a um, spectacular variety really yeah. to be looking at, at performing consistently on that base. So Graham, why it's going to be the most popular variety in 2020, it's combining yield, straw strength, disease resistance and grain quality. It's one that's grown early but it won't be the last to ripen. Winter oats on farms have become more important over the last number of years. They give a very good break crop and entry for winter wheat, increasing the yield, giving farmers options. Within the winter oat crop, husky is the, is the variety of choice. The Department of Agriculture list clearly shows that husky is the, out, is the best one to yield, but it also delivers on quality, shown by the fact that it's offered on contract by many merchants, mills and for the equine market. Husky has been there and has been proven to last over the winter as well, and that's surely a consideration when managing risk. The last thing you want with a crop of winter oats is for severe frost or weather to take it out in the month of March and for all your investment to be gone. So if you're choosing a winter oat in 2020, Husky is the one I would recommend. So that's our complete portfolio from SeaTech for 2020. We hope you got something useful out of the information. All of the information, including the drilling plan and how to get the best out of the varieties, is contained within the fact sheets on our website. And you can get that on www.ctech.ie and the best of luck with sowing in autumn 2020.